Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the basement and there is a noise behind me and that is deliberate because I know how to fix that and uh, we need to give it a more of a permanent fix but let me show you what it is this is my booster pump and um, yeah it keeps running and running even though the pressure has far reached where we should be at I think we might be able to get some more lights down here no, not today oh there we are uh, so the booster pump is here and it's pumping up water from this well there's sand in the bottom of the well so and that means that small fine sand particles finds its way up into the booster pump i'll just temporarily fix this and the fix is to knock this box there there is a little thing inside of there that turns the booster pump on and off. I have uh, water going out this way, so we'll shut that off for a little bit. Um, it's not enough water for it to actually start the pump all the time, but it's enough to keep the well down while I'm using my washing machine, because my washing machine doesn't use a lot of water. And if I'm, if I'm doing my washing for hours, the well will overflow-ish. So we need to take this apart and clean it out and it should be good to go again. So this thing is a pressure regulator and um, to take it off, mine has four screws uh, on the back here. I did try and undo it, but it doesn't come off like that. And I, it's actually not a long time ago that I fixed this last. So now we're gonna unscrew this. And there are some tiny little screws that I'm very much afraid to drop into the well because uh, yeah, then they're gone for probably ever and ever. I might want the pressure on the pump to go down, so we will just open this. the pressure is gone we don't want high pressure water flying out everywhere might make some interesting video if you could see me get wet but I don't really enjoy that I have disconnected power to the pump uh, so that we don't uh, we don't do anything stupid So when removing the last screw, stuff starts coming apart, so uh, make sure to hold the hand on it so that uh, it doesn't fly everywhere because there are some springy things in here. So I'm holding it uh, just to make sure that we're not doing anything stupid. So there, the stuff comes off. And there's like a little metal plate that presses uh, in and out to a contact and we need that to stay. I'll, I'll take that out for a bit so that I don't lose it. Then there's a rubber membrane here to make all of this water tight. There's this rubber membrane. We need to take that out as well. Oh, well, there comes the water. So remove that we could see some of that water was really dirty so um, it's not as bad as last time but I think we can see that there's there's some stuff here and that was probably blocking uh, so that uh, the pressure was not being measured correctly and stopping it from going on and off I'm gonna take a I think I need a smaller screwdriver. There is a tiny, oh, this is not too bad actually. There's a tiny hole here. This is actually more than really perfect. Last time I did this, this hole was totally clogged up. This time it's not so bad. So make sure there is a good, 
and connection hole in there. I'm gonna find a piece of paper and we're gonna clean this up. There, we're happy with that. So let's clean this up. Piece of paper here. Yeah, all the water in the system is, is coming out very quietly. I'm gonna clean the rubber membrane here as well. You can see there is the skunk on it that has gotten stuck in the pump. So yeah, we need uh, to not damage this because uh, uh, we want it to work. So there, so that should go back on. So that needs to go back on. Uh, we need the screws on this thing to hold it in place. But yeah, now it's just putting it back together. So we need this contact, the metal thing that goes inside of here. Uh, can I can I turn that so you can see it? Uh, the wires are a bit short. Yeah, you might be able to see that. So that goes in here, and then the rubber membrane goes on top of that. There is four holes that needs to go into the pump. Oh, the needs to they need to line up with the screws, and then this goes on here. And then we need to put the screws in, one at a time, without dropping them in the well. I'm gonna loosely put uh, them on first, being able to wiggle it a bit around makes it easier to get them in, so I'm just gonna... Do that, four screws putting those in one at a time without dropping them. So now I'll go forth and back and I'll make sure that all of them are tight. And tight. Uh, first, and then I'm gonna tighten them a little bit more afterwards. Uh, I don't want to strip it out. So now I'll take the plug and I'll plug it back in up here. It should turn on. And it should build pressure. It helps me if I turn that off. So it will go up in pressure and it will shut off. What I did before when I kicked this, the settlement inside of there would just move out of the way to let the pressure in just enough so that it would shut off at that point. So now if I turn this on again, oh, if I let the water out this way, it will turn on, shut it off. And it kicks off again. So that is fixed. Um, yeah, not much more to say about it. Uh, it's an easy fix. It takes like three minutes if you're not filming it uh, So yeah, uh, this meter though is totally off scale. It's uh, I tune it. It starts at 0 0.1 bar or something I hope you found that interesting. That's how I maintain my booster pump ever so often and normally it takes a couple of years for it to uh, to fill up with stuff uh, I do believe it's not that long ago that I did it last time, so yeah, I, I might have the thinky that sucks the water up from the well a bit too low, too close to the sand down there, so I could of course put a filter on there, but 
that would be another option. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tell me in the comments below that it helped you. I do really enjoy helping people, so I do really appreciate you telling me that it helped you. So, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.